beautiful. So today we are doing a full face of only e.l.f. products. So I decided to go on e.l.f.cosmetics.com and got some extra stuff that I would be using for a full face. And probably like half of the stuff I don't even have. So and plus there are some new items in here too that just came out from e.l.f. So we're going to be trying it all out and uh, just doing a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics. So if you want to watch that, then please keep on watching. And before we move on, please enjoy and grab a snack or grab a drink or whatever you feel comfortable with. Do what you do. So let's just get started. So first we're going to start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is in clear. This is the only face primer I have from them, so one pump is usually good. And my mirror is over here just to let you guys know. Let me just rub this on. And just a little bit more for my forehead. So before we move on, even though this is an e.l.f., I'm going to use the Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray. Alright, now we're moving on to the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Light Ivory. Heard that they came out with new colors, and I'm glad they did because the one that I have is porcelain and it's way too dark. So, I'm thinking this one is going to match pretty good. We're going to buff this out with the e.l.f. Selfie Ready Foundation Blurring Brush. This is what the brush looks like round blending brush so we're just going to go in with the foundation make sure you shake it before you use it all right so take that out way different packaging it's almost the same packaging but different uh some extra wording actually it is different packaging i'm going to show you the difference so this is the difference, and then the top is also a difference too. So as you can tell, this is in porcelain, and that's way too dark, and this is light ivory. Just put it on the brush. And let's buff this out. Very soft brush. Love the coverage. Just more to see if it's the same formula, which it seems that it is. So I'll be having no problems. We're just kind of dabbing this all over. Blend. smells a lot nicer than it did last time. So we're going to go in with this e.l.f. Perfect Blend Concealer. This is in light beige. So most likely won't be full coverage. So. And it's too dark. And this was the lightest one. Okay, I'll just use this to cover my under eye bags. Okay, covered some of my darkness. Kind of blend right into the foundation. It's okay, probably not the best. I'm just gonna use another uh, cheap concealer and put this underneath the eyes. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Cause I, I need more coverage here. And then obviously didn't do anything. So let's blend this one out. I'm probably never gonna use that concealer again. 
Next is e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder in Sheer. And I've used this before and it was one of my favorite under eye powders. So we're going to use this. This brush here and go in with that loose powder and set. I'm going to use the new e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder in Clear. This is what the packaging looks like. And then when you open the light clear powder, just going to use an e.l.f. powder brush, swirl, and dust. Looks pretty nice. I guess we're kind of go for a natural type of makeup look today. Because the foundation is flawless, but it is more on the natural side. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Contour Palette. I was going to say contour kit, but it's the palette. It has four shades in here. And I'm going to use in between these two colors here to deepen. It's very sharp, but I'm going to be fixing it right now. We're going to move on to blush, and I have the blush in Mellow Mauve. I'm going to be taking the same brush. That's the color. Pretty decent. Um, a little bit. really pretty. My contour is like really really strong. Didn't mean it to go that strong but oh well. We're gonna go on to highlighter. This is the e.l.f. highlighter in white pearl. I'm gonna take my highlighting brush. Swirl swirl swirl. There's the highlighter. Kind of liking it. I'm sorry, it's really strong. I don't. I wish I could fix this. For brows, I'm gonna use the Elf Brow Pencil. This is in the color Neutral Brown. I'm going to be using the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow. This is new and this is in Berry Please. That's what it looks inside. I was going to do a dramatic look, but obviously this is natural. So, um, we're going to be doing something natural with this. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. Take the lightest shade and... Blend out my eye because there was concealer on there and put this on top. And then we're gonna take a blending brush and we're gonna go in with this dark charcoal brown here, I'm guessing, and taking a little bit. And I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. And then we're going to take a concealer type of brush and go in with that pink and brighten it back up. We're going to be taking a short shading brush and go in with that purple. And put this underneath the eyes. I'm going to be taking that e.l.f. highlighter and go in with a small detailed brush and highlight my brows. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Intense H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. 
This is in black. Or jet black. Maybe no wing, probably just a line. Oh, that's pretty pigmented. I'm going to take some concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. And I'm going to be taking it on a thin, flat shading brush and sharpen this up. Next, we're going to go into lashes, and these are the Elf Flirtatious Luxe Lash Kit. Those are the ones I'm going to be using. Very easy to put on. I don't like Elf's uh, mascara, so I'm just going to use a Milani Runaway Lashes Instant Volume Mascara. You know, put this on the bottom and blend all together. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with the Elf Matte Lip Color in Praline. This is what the packaging looks like. Color. Very pretty. So. I'm just going to spritz my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So that is the end for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is the look. Really liking it. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.